The Wings for Life World Run is a global event that has raised millions for spinal cord injury. The race is taking place this Sunday, including right here in South Florida. NBC6 Kelly Blanco introduces us to a wheelchair participant, Aaron Anderson from Sweden, who completed 55 miles during last year's race and has been crowned the global champion two years in a row. When I was nine years old, I had surgery for cancer, ended up in a wheelchair. Today I'm sitting at the top of Sweden. I wonder what else is possible. Meet the reigning two-time global champ of the Wings for Life World Run. This is probably the coolest trophy I ever had. <laughs> Aaron Anderson was diagnosed with cancer when he was just seven years old. Eventually, the cancer was removed through surgery, but Anderson lost function in both legs. I was a teen in a wheelchair and I was, it was, it was pretty good. You know, I had a good time. From sailing to track and field and even sledge hockey, Aaron had no plans of letting his paralysis slow him down. Now at 31, a good time is what he continues to go after. <laughs> propelling to new heights as a professional adventurer and motivational speaker. Already accomplishing what some will only dream of doing. As a first wheelchair bound person, Aaron has climbed to the peak of Sweden's highest mountain. He's arm biked thousands of miles across Europe, summited Mount Kilimanjaro, Kilimanjaro, and traveled from Antarctica to the South Pole for a cause near to his heart. What's been your proudest moment so far? Reaching the South Pole, knowing that we raised, what was it, $700,000 for kids with cancer. Through his adventures, Aaron has raised millions for the Swedish Childhood Cancer Foundation, all the while proving that life can be pretty incredible, even when you're sitting down. What's the next adventure for you? My, my next big thing is that next spring we're going to Everest Base Camp, and then I have this dream of one day going all, all the way up to the summit. Woo. Aaron is a true champion, and I have no doubt he will check Mount Everest off his bucket list very soon. And there's still time to join NBC6 as we come together to run for those who can't. Please visit NBC6.com to sign up.